I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand, because that is the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13. We have a joker, pair of flowers, northeast, a green dragon. In cracks, we have a one. In dots, we have one, six, eight, nine, pair one, pair nine. And then we have an eight bam. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would leverage the multiples with the flowers in particular, and then probably like numbers with ones and news. I would keep the nines just in case other nines come in instead of the ones. And then I would pass those three. Like numbers with news. That's what I would focus on. Now, there is some potential for a year hand if we get twos and white dragons. If you would do something different with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Flower, North, White Dragon. We have five, eight, nine in cracks, four, five, seven in dots with a pair of fives, five, six, nine in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the fives. Probably big odds. Five, seven, nine, big odds of some kind. I wouldn't pick a hand. We have way too many discards. It'd be nice to get some more sevens in here. Another thing we could maybe do is like numbers with fives. So maybe keep the north, because there is a news hand, and then pass these three. Now that, that is a little bit risky because they're all evens. So passing on the north would make that a little more benign. I probably would do that, focus on big odds. If you would do something different with these tiles, write it in a comment below the video with pull two. We have a joker, three flowers, a west, in cracks, we have three, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. In bams, we have six, seven, nine, and in dots, we have a two. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the eights and the flowers. And probably 
keep the consecutive numbers because there are a couple of hands we could play there. If eights come in, we could play like numbers. So here are all the tiles six through nine. This is not too bad of a pass. It's a little bit risky because of the two, three, but at least they're in two different suits. So I would focus on consecutive numbers around the eight. If you would do something different with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. When you get your dealt hand, arrange them by suit and in order to get the lay of the land. Then identify the strength of the hand, which is either gonna be multiples or the predominant pattern. Make your decision and gather tiles that you don't need to find your first pass. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.